no stranger to hosting some big time events at Olympia Fields, a couple of US Opens, a couple of PGAs besides US Senior Open, US Amateur, KPMG Women's PGA Championship, the 2020 BMW, and five Western Opens. And Chicago's own Teddy Greenstein, senior editor at Points Bet Sportsbook, joins us now. Teddy, it's great to see you. We know Chicago's a great sports town. How would you describe it as a golf town? The joke here that we could have an entire PGA Tour just based on Chicago courses because you've got all these great private courses to the north. You've got Shore Acres and um, so many brilliant ones there. Then you've got, you know, Chicago Golf out west. Uh, Medina is out west. And then Olympia Fields down to the south, which has done an incredible job with its north course. Obviously, when the 2003 U.S. Open was there, it was kind of a dud, and we can touch back on that. But in terms of uh, its love for golf, Chicago is uh, pretty much unmatched. But the last time the PGA Tour was in Chicago, Teddy, it wasn't exactly a raucous affair out right there, was it? No, and it, it was such an unusual case. It was a couple months after the pandemic had begun in the summer of 2020. So there were media guys like me and sort of friends and family and volunteers out there. So there were no roars. And as a result of that, even though that tournament produced one of the greatest finishes in golf history, you, you don't really see the clips that much and you don't hear about it because it was so quiet. It was just like golf claps around the green after, you know, it's a playoff. Dustin Johnson knocks in a 44 footer and John Rahm uh, makes the Rahm bomb 66 feet downhill side hill. One of the greatest putts ever. But I think because of the lack of fans, it was just so unusual sounding. There was very little reaction after this one went down. Well, you wrote about it in the Chicago District Golf, or how much is Olympia Fields kind of hankering then to have, you know, peanuts, Cracker Jacks, beer, people, and more great golf this week? That's the thing, David. It's such a big redemption story. You know, going back to that 2003 U.S. Open that was won by Jim Furyk, there was very little buzz. Uh, there were a couple 65 shot on Thursday. So, um, you know, the thought was, oh, this course is too easy, even though I think the USGA was to blame for the setup. There was a lack of wind, but people sort of tuned out of that U.S. Open. Jim Furyk won by three shots after bogeying the final two holes. Ever since then, Olympia Fields has had incredible events. A, a USAM uh, won by Bryson DeChambeau, a great KPMG women's major won by Danielle Kang. And then this 2020 event, this BMW championship, was superb because the scores were really high on Thursday and Friday, and yet no one was complaining. Nobody was saying it was tricked up. It was just firm and fast and windy and even the guys like mark leishman who were finishing near the bottom were saying this is a great course setup and of course it lent itself to an incredible sunday finish and john ram's victory that was a little better ending to the tournament than he had when he lost in the quarterfinals of the u.s amateur back in 2015 based on your story <laughs> that's right good tease there um he uh had a battle with the locker and the locker won, as Olympia Fields members like to say it. You know, John Rahm, we love him for his fire, and I think he had even more as a youngster. So he uh, he bowed out of that event. Um, by the way, the Olympia Fields clubhouse locker room, if you've been there, is so large it has its own zip code. It's kind of a famous one. There's a lot of lore there in terms of the different sections, and it's, it's an incredible place. So um, John Rahm had a much better experience there, needless to say, in the summer of 2020. Well, Teddy, our producer, uh, Chloe, who's from Illinois, says you have the you know, most Chicago accent she's ever heard. So we want to do some Chicago trivia <laughs> if you're game. Are you game with some Chicago sports trivia? And yeah, besides Chicago sports. I'm from New York, but absolutely. I'll take that with the Chicago accent. Sure. All right, here we go. Who were the five different franchises the Jordan-led Chicago Bulls beat in the NBA championship? Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Utah. Seattle, um, five different ones. Uh, Lakers, um, help me out here on the last two. What do we got? Trailblazers and Suns. Not bad. Not bad. Drexler. Remember Drexler? The Portland yeah. Trailblazer fans thought that Drexler was better than Jordan. Jordan didn't like that too much. My excuse, I covered 96 through 98, not 91 through 93. <laughs> so that's there. All right, we'll take you back to your childhood here, Teddy. In the 1986 movie Ferris Bueller's Day Off, who does the pizza shop owner say is winning the Cubs game when Principal Rooney asks? Oh, my God. So is that like with the Sausage King? Um, is that that scene who's winning the Cubs game? Oh, no, it says, I think, the Bears. Right? Yeah. 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 
Right, and he looks up and, uh, oh yeah, Bears. And uh, I think there's some eyes rolled after that. Yeah, score 0-0. Zero, zero. Exactly. Who are the uh, two original NFL teams in Chicago? So, would it be like the Chicago Cardinals? And... So like the Stags at some point. I think that might have been the name. What, what were they? I think Bears and Cardinals, I think, would have been. Right? Bears and Cardinals. I, I don't think he's okay. doing very well here. We're going to give you one chance to redeem yourself here, love, Teddy. Oh. What year was deep dish pizza invented in Chicago? That's really good. So I think it was essentially by the Malnati family. And I'm going to say it was in like the 1940s. I'll say 1947. You know, it's good enough. 43 enough. is the yeah. end. You got the you got the decade, right? Pizzeria uh, Uno, I think. Uno. Yes. Uno and Zue are, are, are wonderful ones. Malnati is great. Boys, you got to come on out. I'm getting hungry. Come on out and visit it's me. It's lunchtime. So I'm hungry. He knows a lot about Chicago for a New Yorker. <laughs> exactly. That was very well done. Teddy G, always great to see you, pal. Enjoy the week at the BMW. Next is New York 80s Jets trivia, where I will really kill it. <laughs> Next great week. To see you guys. <laughs> see you,